So we've, today we're just going to make a demonstration on how to drill out bolts that are broken off and try to do that in a way that we don't damage the threads on this bracket. So I'm, I've usually been pretty successful doing that and so hopefully I won't mess this video up here in trying to show you how to do this. I've started out, uh, first of all, take a look, I gotta get my glasses on here to show you all this, but if you take a look, you can see there are two bolts that are broken off and you can see on this side where they're sticking out, they've been there for a long time. And we're gonna try to drill those out today. I'm gonna show you my method for doing that. And I think there's probably a lot of methods out there that people know how to use. Uh, just from looking at the internet, there probably are. And I've tightened the vise down pretty well. And then I took my, I'm gonna knock my drill bits over here showing you. I have a, a, a disc grinder right here and I like to flatten these bolts off so that I can get a good shot at drilling. So I do like this. You can see it's pretty flat, it's easy to see, and this one isn't. So we're gonna work on this one right now. The next thing I do is I use this Kroll penetrant oil. It really works well on stuff that's rusted, and you just give it a shot. I've already done it once here, but I'm gonna do it again just for demo purposes and put it in there, because that will soak down in there and hopefully loop, loosen up the threads. Now the ideal thing here is to drill a hole and then use what we call an easy out. I think that's kind of a poor description for this tool, but this tool is, you can see it's kind of got a, a serrated air edge on it and you drill a hole and then you stick it down in that hole and theoretically twist it and the, the bolt comes out, broken bolt comes out. I have very little success with these, but I still keep them around and I usually try them. The reason I try them is because if I can get it to come out that way, it's a lot quicker. Otherwise, you just kind of have to slowly work your way through this. All right, so now what we're going to do is select a, uh, a center punch, and there's two of them here that you can use. This is one that I'm going to start out with, and this is the secret to getting this really right, is to get the center punch hole in the middle of that bolt. So I focus on that pretty hard, and I may do this a few times before I finally find one that I like. And when you do that, you just kind of do this a couple times, and you can see... Uh, where that center punch is and I don't like where that is so I'm going to move over just a little bit this way for some reason that's not reacting so I'm going to get another one out this is the old style center punch right here that's just got a sharp edge on it I usually run it through the die grinder occasionally to keep it, or the bench grinder to keep it that way. And I'm going to set it right there. And I, I ended up this way a little bit. I want to go back that way, so I'm going to kind of go to that notch there, and I'm going to try to move it a little bit. It's looking a little bit better. So, if you can get a quick shot of that right there, you can kind of see... I'm going to wipe it off where it's easy to see and you can see that that is pretty much centered in the bolt and that's the that's the important thing about does that help any yeah you can kind of see it right there okay that's the important thing about trying to drill out a bolt if you end up one direction or the other then when you try to bring it out or when you try to drill through it you'll always be off and you'll cut into the thread so we're going to start there and we're going to take a very small drill bit and these, I love these drill bits. They're made by Drill Hog. I got them on the internet from Amazon, I think. Uh, and I always start with a small one. But I have, the other thing about these guys is when you break a bit, you can order any one of these individually and they'll send you a whole pack, you can buy a whole package of them. And when you get to these smaller bits like this, they don't last very long. So I'll have maybe a whole package of this size drill bit, which is a 330 seconds. So that's the one I'm going to try to start with here to see how we do drill the hole. Here's my uh, older than snot snap-on drill. Sounds older than snot. And I'm just going to start through this. Now, when you drill a hole with a drill bit, you always have to remember that you don't just drill as fast as the drill will go. You drill only up to the speed where the drill bit cuts. So I, drill, I start out pretty slowly, like this. 
You can see it's not turning very fast, but maybe they can, uh, can you get a shot of that right down there where it's, you can kind of see it bringing metal out. It's flying off the drill bit. That's the speed that drill bit wants to drill at. See how it drills nicely. If you run it very fast, it will actually burn up the bit. So I'm going to go pretty slow here and try to get my first hole all the way through that bolt. We'll give it just a quick shot at WD-40 to try to keep it cool off. Here we go again. Now I'm going to look at again where I am, and if you see, I'm off. I'm I'm a little bit this far. I'm not centered up. So how do you fix that? Well, you just start your old drill bit and angle over this way. Basically working. I just aim it in the direction that I want to go, and as I get to where I think I need to be, I'm going to straighten my drill back up, and I'm going to go a little bit longer now, and see how that hole looks. it off that actually looks a lot better it's pretty much centered up so give it a little bit of WD-40 again and here we go that's actually not WD-40 I just noticed I picked up the wrong thing that's lithium grease so I'll get some WD-40 here in a minute you see my drill bits uh, moving quite a bit of middle out of there right now I'm not running my drill as fast as it'll go, just fast enough to make the drill bit work. Maybe I discovered something new. Maybe lithium grease works better than lithium. I'm all the way through. So now I've made my first hole there. I'm going to look again to make sure it looks like I'm centered up. I think I'm pretty good. So now I'm going to go to the next size drill bit, maybe a couple above that one. So I'm going to go up two drill bits and run another one in there. This is drilling pretty fast, see it? How it's knocking that metal out of there. No pressure on my drill, just letting the drill, the weight of my drill kind of push the bit in. Just slight pressure with my left hand. And you can see the metal fly out. I'm already through there, so I'm going to back out with my drill. I'm going to go one more time, two sizes up. Here we go. I'm not liking this hole very well. I'm still going to go this direction some. So I'm going to do my drill like this. And I'm going to aim it. See, I've got it aim angled over. I'm going to drill in that direction. Drill tends to hang up, but just be patient with it. Like I say, the most important part of this is try to end up with a hole right in the center as we're doing these smaller bits. It looks a little better. So we're going to bring my bit drill back vertical. You can tell that uh, doing this type of thing takes some patience and you have to take your time. And if you don't, if you don't do that, you'll mess up this hole and then you're going to be wondering how you're going to fix it. OK. 
Okay, we're through that time. Take that drill bit back out. Do a quick wipe of this, put it out of the way. And that hole looks pretty good. I, now I'm going to show you what happens when you put a easy out in there. That goes in like that. It needs a, a tap, you know, like this. And then we're going to take a tool like this. This looks like a socket, but it actually will fit over the easy out like that. And then you get to use your ratchet. And you don't want to break this off. So you just want to go slowly to see if that, that's going to try to turn at all. And it doesn't want to turn at all. So go back this direction and take it back out. You can see what I'm talking about there. That does not usually work very well. So my, here's my method. I'm going, to, I'm going to keep drilling if I don't knock over my drill bits anymore. I'm going to go up a little bit larger this time. Now let's see what we got. Really good hole. And you can see now there's not a, not a lot of that bolt left. It's just the rim around it. So we're going to go up one more and see where we are. This was a, uh, this one right here is the next size up. And that's a uh, 1564. And this is a quarter inch nut. That's what the bolt that's in here. So we're getting pretty close to being right at the size of the, of the, the thread. And as most, most of you probably know, drill bits aren't exact sizes. You know, they're usually bigger than what the bolt is. So just be kind of careful at this point that you don't get in there too heavy. Now what I'm going to do is look down through there and see if I see any threads that are exposed than I do. I can actually see the threads all the way around in there. So I'm going to give it a couple of taps with uh, the center punch here to see if I can make that what's left out of there fall out. And it did try to come out, so we're going to try it over here. I may only gotten part of it. Well, funny enough, when it fell out of the vise, the thread fell out. So you can look down in there and see that it's gone and the threads are left. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a quarter inch thread chaser here. No, that's 5 sixteenths. I was, I was the wrong size. So I do have a 5 sixteenths here, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, this is 5 sixteenths. So this is the right size. Now this is, this is tapered on the end, you see, down here, so that it'll start easily. And it has some flutes in there to bring the metal out. If you use one like this, this is different. It has flutes, but it's not tapered. And it's really not made for making threads. It's more for cleaning threads. 
I like to use these in here because they're tapered and they'll go in a little bit better. So I'm going to do that. Go back to this socket here and find one that fits the end of that. I think maybe it's this one. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so then I'm going to take my ratchet. Give a little bit of lithium grease here. Just chasing and cleaning up those threads is all I'm doing. If you take your time with this, actually you end up with a good set of threads and you don't have to worry about damaging this piece. Now, I'm gonna go get a bolt right quick. All right, I'm back. So here's a 5 16 bolt. We're just gonna try it on that to make sure that it screws in there pretty easily. And you can see I can put it all the way through with my fingers. The other thing you have to make sure of is that there's nothing damaged here and that you don't have a lot of wobble on that bolt. If it gets real wobbly, then it's been made too big and you may have to put a thread insert or weld a nut on the back side of that. But that's, e that's not an easy way to get a bolt out, but that's a good clean way to get a bolt out or a broken bolt inside of a piece like this where you can reuse it, reuse the threads, and everything's going to be back to normal. Hey, I'm Barry Wilson with Wilson Auto Repair. I hope that was helpful. I know you're going to have some broken bolts if you're working on your own car. Be careful, go slow, and most certainly be sure that you center up on that bolt when you drill it out. If you do, everything will work out great. Thank you.